Well, hello again, and um, there's another guitar video. I don't like to do too many of these because it's not really my thing, and there are lots of people doing great guitar videos, and I'm not one of them. But a while ago, I did a surprisingly popular video on the Fernandez Sustainer, which I'd recently installed in this Strat. And recently, I also got a Schecter, which had a Sustainiac in it, because I really liked the idea of sustaining guitars, being a violinist mainly. Obviously, that uh, that works for me, uh, and I thought it'd be quite interesting and maybe educational for all of us, me included, to do another video showing how they differ, how they're the similar, just comparing the two, see how they compare. So, this is what this is. I'm going to compare this guitar with this guitar. So I'm discovering this as we go. So this is going to be a, as much a journey of uh, of learning for me as it is for you. <laughs> So let me show you the two guitars first. Let's start with the, uh, the Fernandez. So this is my original Stratocaster. This is a Mexican player Strat, as I said originally. It's got um, it's an older body, as most Strats are. It's got the Fernandez humbucker here, which came with a sustainer kit. That's obviously the Fernandez pickup there. Uh, it's now got a Vega trim in it, which is new. Um, I'll talk about the middle pickup again in a minute. So yeah, that's it's mostly a box standard strap, but forget the pickups for the minute. And in the blue corner, see what I did there? So this is an Indonesian uh, Schecter Sun Valley Super Shredder FRS guitar. Yes, I did have to look that up. Uh, it's got an active EMG humbucker there and the Sustainiac in here. That's just the two pickups there. Uh, it's got Floyd Rose, the GK3i installed on that, don't talk about that. But otherwise it's basically from the shop. The Fernandez units seem to be easier to obtain, at least in the UK, as a box of bits that you install in a guitar. So you then have to take to the tech to do it for you, because it's quite hard to do. I've seen people do it online and it's, it's hard. The only guitars that you can find, at least in the UK, that have the Fernandez built in tend to be the Bernies, which are made by Fernandez, of course. And they seem to be nearly all Gibson copies, old school Gibson copies. And me being a modernist, I'm not that fond of those, so that's why I put it on a Strat. I'm having one put into a PRS as well, which I'm very much looking forward to. The Sustainiac, by contrast, is built into a lot of guitars at the moment. Check to do quite a big range of guitars with Sustainiacs built into them. Ibanez do some, quite a lot of other smaller manufacturers also do, so they're quite common. And you can find them in nice modern guitars. Um, buying a Sustainiac unit looks a lot harder in the UK at least. Um, they have up to Sustainiac have a website which is looks like a bizarre throwback from the 1990s and I cannot navigate much on it at all. It's very difficult to figure out what the hell you need to do to either order something or even install it. If you buy one, I'm sure it comes with beautiful instructions. I don't know this for sure. But definitely the easiest way to get a Sustainiac is to buy a nice guitar that you want with Sustainiac because you can almost certainly find one that's good. And I think that's the big advantage. So let's talk about the hardware first as it comes. So you basically got the two switches here. They're the same on both. So on the Schecter here, you've basically got your on-off switch, you've got your mode control, which is normal, mix, and harmonic. I usually have it on normal. And on the Fernandez, we have on-off control and the mix the uh, and the harmonic control. Norm normal mix harmonic. Confusingly, the switch on the Fernandez is upside down compared to the uh, Schecter. So the Staniac down is on and up is off, which as an English person makes more sense to me because that's the way how the light switches are. The Fernandez is more of the American mode where up is on and down is off. So that's confusing if you've got both. Be very careful because you can very easily end up with flat batteries if, you're not, if you don't watch that one. The uh, Fernandez by default comes with an intensity knob, which is here mapped on the tone control on the strap. It's an indented knob and sits normally in the middle. And I like it in the middle. Uh, full on, that's the full intensity and that's almost off. The Schecter does not have that. The Schecter has 
no intensity control at all these are just volume controls for the two pickups not even a sound control um, I don't think that's a particular Sustainiac thing I think it's just this model of Schecter because looking at some of the uh, Hellraiser guitars they have three knobs and I think one of those is the intensity control for the Sustainiac so I may have got the wrong guitar because I do like the intensity control on that strap and I do use it. The intensity on the Sustainiac, on this guitar at least, is controlled with the volume knob. So if you have the volume knob on full, that's full sustainer. And if you turn it back just a little bit, that's about the same as the Fernandez at half on the indent in the middle. So you don't need to take this all the way to half volume, which is good. It's just, but it's, but I do like to back it off a bit because it is quite aggressive on full. Luckily the AMG pickup is pretty powerful so backing off a little on the volume control is actually quite a good thing in a way. Unless you want really big heavy distortions which I know it's sold as a metal guitar but it's, a, it's actually a really nice instrument. So the switch is upside down on this on for each, from each other. Just to add more confusion the uh, mode control is the same way around on both instruments so you only have to remember that one switch is upside down I don't know if that makes it easier or harder maybe more so both units are very battery hungry uh, as anybody who's tried one will tell you so on the um, on the strat I've got this Fishman battery pack here which is chargeable through USB and as long as you remember to charge it before a gig which I always do that works great so it doesn't cost you a fortune in batteries and you're not throwing batteries into landfill or recycling plants. On the Schecter I'm using these rechargeable PP3 batteries. They're quite nice. That's a 1300 milliamp hour so it's quite got quite a lot of um, charge on it. It lasts quite a long time and it charges over USB so you don't even need a special charger. So I'm using, so I keep, what it with I do with the Schecter is I keep this one charged up so that when that one dies you just swap the batteries over and you're good to go again. So in normal sustain mode, you'll do and that's the normal sort of mode in the middle of the Fernandez controller. I'm just going to leave it run there and see what else or other strings tend to vibrate. See, the Fernandez is quite good. It doesn't. There's not a lot of feedback anymore with this. If I turn this up four, where it's nearer what the sustain neck does. feedback on there even compared to the Fernandez on full mode and this is backed off slightly if I back it off even more I find that A string vibrates a lot on the Schecter you do have to hold it in so you end up playing like this over the bottom strings just to stop it going too far. Back that off to almost halfway. The 
and turn the volume down too far it will stop sustaining almost completely. There's a point on the volume control where it just starts to catch. So yeah, if I'm going to stop it doing that A string, I'm going to have to maybe, I don't know quite to stop that, maybe to take the um, pickup down a bit at the bass end. But it is a lot more prone to feedback than the Fernandez, and that's wound back quite a long way. So let's now go into harmonic mode. This is on the Fernandez again, as you can see. Let's just do that one B again, see what happens. Slightly different sound there, I think. I mean, notwithstanding the fact that they're two very different guitars. Yeah, so you see the slight different sound there is more down to the different sound of the different guitars. The shakes has got a mahogany body against the older of the strats, and obviously the necks are different. At least the fingerboards are different. I think this is ne the neck is maple, but the fingerboard is obviously rosewood. So if I turn the sustain neck up a little. As you can imagine, that's superb with a lot of distortion. I'm not showing you with distortion today for partly for personal reasons, and I've got problems with my back, so I can't lift a great deal of stuff. So I'm doing this video with minimal gear. But also, I think distortions hide a lot of stuff that you might want to hear. can't recommend the Vega trim highly enough. <laughs> it's, it's a really easy install, provided you can do your own intonation. Superb device. The mix mode is basically the same as you put. So let's just quickly hear the mix mode anyway on the same thing. I'm doing single notes here just so you've got a bit of clarity. The mix mode taking a while to give it something a bit lower. Seems to take quite a while to get mixing on the uh, on the Fernandez. Sustainiac. goes into harmonic a lot faster. You can tune these things on the boards. I think that's a nicer feedback sound than Fernandez. I 
Feels like there's more harmonics going in there. I like the mix mode on this better than the Fernandez, I think, even though it also seems to tame the rest of the, the rest of the uh, feedback on the lower strings as well, which is good. I remember I complained about the feedback from the Fernandez when I did the original video, and I have tamed that a bit by adjusting some of the things at the back. So I may need to play with this to just to tame this a little bit. But uh, I think feedback mode is generally really nice on this. So let's see what happens if we, I'm going to put it back to normal mode again, and let's just see what happens if I do just a really simple chord. See how those how those sustain. full of sound from the uh, Sustainiac there when doing chords. seem to work a lot nicer on the Sustainiac. That's probably because it's penchant for feeding back into the bass strings more than the Fernandez does. So those are that's how it that's how they behave as a Sustainia as a just oh, there's a sustainer. Slightly different technique I think I think you know need for playing the two. They do behave slightly differently. They also behave as pickups obviously so you've got a neck pickup which is the sustain unit and so, and these have to replace your existing neck pickup. This thing has no Fender pickups on it at all anymore. So that replaced my Fender neck pickup. That replaced my Fender bridge pickup because you need a humbucker and this came as an SSS strat. So let's just hear the difference in sound between these two. I'm not sure how useful this is going to be because the two guitars sound so different. But one thing you do notice when you switch to these pickups is the noise from them. And they both make noises, which is odd because this is a passive pickup as far as I can tell. I don't know that for sure, to be honest. But you can hear the heart, the hiss coming from the guitar when I'm not doing anything at all. Yeah, it goes away in the humbucker. I'll blow this up in the in the mix so you can hear it better and compare. Oddly, the sustain yak is also quite noisy. The Schecter again, you can hear the noise, it's particularly acute on the Schecter because of the active EMG is so quiet. So that's EMG, and you can hear the noise from the Sustainiac. The Sustainiac is, on this is still a single coil, like the Fernandez. There's actually literally nothing behind that bit of plastic in front there, it just looks like a humbucker. One day, I'm going to get a guitar mod with a, an actual pickup there. So you can hear the noise from this as I, and uh... Mm -hmm. 
There's definitely a difference in tone there. It's it's hard to compare with the two guitars being so different. It feels slightly more. This feels slightly more trebly than the Fernandez, I think. But I'm not going to draw too many conclusions about that. The general takeaway is they're not a bad pickup. They're not a great pickup, but they're not a bad pickup at the, at the neck. Quite usable, I think, particularly in a mix. The hiss annoys me um, on both, but in a mix it's probably livable, particularly if you're playing quite loud, and a bit of gate will probably take that away. I'm playing without any effects at all on this, just a little bit of reverb, so you can hear exactly what's going on. This is quite deliberate on my part. On the Sustainiac, the Sustainiac pickup is an active pickup. If the battery for the Sustainiac dies, that pickup also dies, but the EMG will carry on because it's got two battery boxes. So that battery box there is for the Sustainiac and that's for the EMG. So if you lose one battery, you've still got one pickup. Okay. This is not true of the Fernandez. There is one battery that powers the whole guitar. If that battery dies, you've got no guitar. As I found to my cost a few days ago, <laughs> when I had left this in the cupboard for a bit, I'd forgotten the battery was dead. Picked it up, put a few notes on it, and then it died on me. I thought, oh God, what have I done? So yeah, if you put the Fernandez on this, on a guitar, it becomes a totally active guitar and it will not do anything without battery charge. That's worth knowing. The other thing I had with the pickup on the Fernandez is that it did not play well. These two pickups here did not play well with the Fender middle pickup I had. Um, now the Fender middle pickup was quite weak compared to these two. So yeah, it was, the, the, the levels were quite low, but that I could live with that. You can, lift it up a bit and see things but there was some weird phase cancellation going on that i didn't like and it gave a very hollow sound on positions two and four which i can't show you now because i since replaced this with a, a dimasio area 58 which is what's in there now and that works beautifully nice still sounds beautifully stratty uh yeah but it's what i had to do because i just got so annoyed with the state of the middle pickup not being very usable uh i'm a big fan of positions two and four on a strat as i think most people tend to be uh, other thing about pickups is the fernandez it does not work with active bridge pickups it says this very explicitly in the manual i don't know why but they're quite insistent about it the sustainiac obviously does because that there's a shack that comes with an EMG. So that's maybe another consideration. But only if you obviously if you're installing it from scratch. If you buy a pre-bought guitar, it comes with what it comes with, and you make that decision at purchase time. So those are my um thoughts on the Sustainiac versus Fernandez. Um plus points on both sides. Uh I I like but the more controllability of the Fernandez, it feels less aggressive. On the other hand, the um, Sustainiac has nicer support when you're trying to do chords and work to the EMG pickup. The Fernandez is slightly less noisy on the neck pickup than the uh, Sustainiac as well, which is um, it surprised me. I thought it'd be the other way around with the Sustainiac being an active pickup at the neck. You'd think it would be quieter, but it isn't. Um, other noises you get, which you might have heard, you do hear them. I don't know if they're magnets spinning round or whatever. You can hear the magnets growling on the Fernandez, which I've not yet heard on the Sustainiac. So that is also a difference which you can sometimes make out. So I'm not saying there are any winners and losers. They're slightly different systems with pros and cons either way. I think the main pro for the Sustainiac is you can buy a guitar with it built in rather than having to pay 300 quid for an extra bit of kit that you then have to take to a tech to go and install for you. Other than that, I think they're good competing systems and it's interesting to have both. So, yeah. So thank you for watching. That's my thoughts on this, the uh, sustainer debate that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye for now.